Hey guys, I'm Brian. You may have recently heard some rumblings that Tuesday, April 1st at Sun and Fun, Lightspeed is gonna announce the first ever whole plane noise canceling system. Um, a couple months back, they reached out to me and asked me if I'd be one of the guinea pigs that would help test it with my airplane. I said, absolutely. Um, I love my Lightspeed Zulus. This is my favorite headset. Uh, but if this system works the way they say it's gonna work, we may not have to use these anymore. Let's get to the airplane. Hey guys, we're in my plane today because we are going to get something installed that is awesome. Uh, Lightspeed has this product coming out called the Sonic Augmentation and Targeted Internal Resonance Enhancement System. Um, it's a mouthful. Basically what it is, is noise canceling, but instead of using a headset, it's noise canceling for the entire aircraft. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my plane over to my mechanics. The install's only like 30 minutes, so it's a super quick turnaround. And the goal is we're gonna be able to fly my airplane uh, without having to use a headset. And it's gonna be as quiet as it is uh, if I were to wear a noise canceling headset. A uh, lot of benefits to this. Everyone in the plane isn't now required to have a very high end headset. Um, and you're not gonna have anything on your head. You're just gonna be able to fly and talk like I am here now. So uh, let us let me take my plane over to the mechanic and let's get the system installed. All right, so the first thing you're probably gonna notice if the camera's picking it up is we've got some sensors that have been installed. Every plane is a little bit different. My plane needed about 130 of these little guys. Some need more, some need less. Um, and so there's, there's two pieces to this. There's the sensors and then there's, um, sort of the activation unit. You have two options. They do have a toggle switch option. Um, but I don't like that. Uh, it gets in the way of my panel and I get confused and I might accidentally confuse it for the gear. So I went with the pull string option. Uh, you just pull that and it activates the uh, whole plane A&R. So you may be wondering what these sensors are. Each sensor has two pieces to it. There's like, think of like a microphone and a speaker. Uh, the, the receiving piece listens to the noise in the plane and the speaker piece sends out the opposite. So it cancels out that wave, making the entire plane very silent. There's a couple of things you need to know. Uh, in order to use this system, you do have to have uh, Wi-Fi in your airplane. In fact, what they recommend is that you fly with a, a laptop with a steady internet connection. So yeah, I'm a middle-aged guy with a laptop full of stickers. Um, because what happens is the processing isn't done in the airplane. You don't have enough power and computing power in the plane to do it. Uh, the microphones take the noise in the plane and they send it up to headquarters through the internet. It takes samples like 100 times per second, each sensor. And then the processing is done in the cloud, so to speak. And then it generates the opposite and sends that sound through the speakers, canceling it out. So you have to have internet. Um, but as long as you've got an internet connection, you're playing, you got Wi-Fi, it, it works pretty well. Uh, we'll go up and try it here and you can see how it sounds. Right, so I'm definitely in the airplane right now actually flying. Um, I'm flying over North Texas. Uh, this is an actual flight. Otherwise, how could I cut to this shot here and this shot of the wing? I'm having to yell because it's very loud in here. I'm damaging my ears right now, probably permanently. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the noise canceling. And uh, wow, uh, it's very quiet. Um, I can, it's it just sounds like I'm, 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 what's weird is I can't really even hear the engine running. Uh, I can see the propellers sp spinning and we're going uh, 134 knots. Um, I can't even hear wind noise that much. This is pretty sweet. Every once in a while you'll get in a situation where one of these sensors will uh, be a little bit loose. That's okay. The reason there's so many of them is for, sometimes they fall off. That's fine. Uh, it's a very redundant system. I am now getting a little bit of noise just from right there. Uh, where that, that one popped off. I think if a lot fell off in a, a cluster, you'd probably get a lot of sound coming from that, that direction, but it's fine. It's, that's why it's designed to, to be there. All right, so far, I think it's a pretty great system. I'm gonna land real quick, just so we can talk more. I gotta fly the plane. So let's get on the ground, and then uh, we'll talk more about the system. So one of the questions most likely going through your head is, Brian, the plane's already full of sound, and now the system is piping more sound into the plane. 
the plane can only hold so much sound. There's only so many cubic feet of space in here. What do you do with the extra sound? Well, Lightspeed has a solution to that. Let me show you. Included with every system is this ducting, and how this works is this tube um, goes out the side window here, and it's fine. During flight, it's completely fine. It's not a problem. You, maybe a little bit of drag, and sometimes this blows back that way a little bit, but this keeps too much sound from building up into the airplane. Sorry, that keeps too much sound from building up in the airplane. You can only hold so much volume of noise in here, and this is definitely adding a lot more. Uh, there's one drawback to this. Let me show you real quick. Sometimes there's just so much noise that it actually builds up and you end up with kind of a, a, a lot of pressure and a backlog of, of extra noise going through the plane. And so I just did a lap around the pattern to show you this. Um, there's too much sound and you can still hear a little bit of the sound still trying to, trying to come out. This is... That's some of the leftover sound from the flight I just took. Okay, I think it's all out now. So it's a pretty good system. You're not going to have too much sound inside your airplane. And uh, I don't know, I really, really like it. Let me tell you a couple more things about it. And I decided to finish the video at home because it was getting hot in the airplane. Uh, I've done a few flights uh, with the system so far and I really like it. The quality is good. Um, I like that I can have a conversation in the plane without having to have a headset. And there's only a few cons. Um, you can't make radio calls with the system yet. That's something they're working on. So if you want to make a radio call, you do need to pop on your headset, make your radio call, and then you can take it back off. The system does require a lot of power, and you've got to figure out how you want to put that in your plane. Currently, uh, I have the power pack in my baggage compartment, which consists of six 12-volt batteries daisy-chained together. Um, if you're the type of pilot who cares about weight and balance and you know rules and stuff, uh, you might have some apprehension there, but you didn't become a pilot because you wanted to be told what to do. Um, I like they give me the option to activate it via a, a toggle switch um, or the pull chain. In my plane, the trim's up here, so my hand's already up here a lot. It just makes, makes a lot of sense uh, for me to be able to pull this down and activate it. Um, the only other real con I can think of is it does interfere with your instruments a lot. Uh, GPS and some of the other instruments uh, will uh, read improperly today. For about two hours, my GPS showed I was in South America. Uh, it's not a problem. I fly in North America, so if it shows South, you just do the opposite, and you'll end up exactly where you need to go. Um, my altimeter was off by about 1,000 feet for most of the flight, too. But uh, all in all, I think it was okay. I talked to a couple of other people they had testing this, and aside from... Um, a couple of people getting burnt about the hands and face. It, it seems great. And when testing a new product, there, there's going to be challenges. So uh, anyway, I, I think it's good. Uh, I'm excited. They're supposed to be announcing this at Sun and Fun April 1st. April 1st is real important to remember with regard to all of this. Don't bug Lightspeed about this at their booth at Sun and Fun. So anyway, it's a great product. I think everyone's going to enjoy installing this in their airplane and flying around and not having to wear headsets anymore. Uh, I hope to see you guys at Sun and Fun. I hope you guys had fun with this video. You guys fly smart, and we'll catch you in the next one.